I'm Jessica and I am a member of the education team here at Asbury Woods and I'm super excited that you joined us for one of our virtual visits today. Um, today I'm going to walk you through a project. We're going to make something for the birds with some things you probably already have at home and then I'll take you outside on our porch and we'll hang it out there and we'll talk a little bit about birding. So to get started what you'll need are some cardboard tubes, some peanut butter, um, you'll need something to spread your peanut butter with. Now, if you're a family that has a peanut butter allergy, you can also use cashew butter or sunflower butter or whatever kind of sticky nut butter you might have at home. I'm using ribbon, but you can also use string or twine or even in a pinch, I've used dental floss. So anything that you can use to hang it on your tree. And we'll need some bird seed. Um, now I know getting to the stores right now is a little bit difficult. So if bird seed isn't something that you have at home, you can also use crushed up Cheerios, um, dried fruits, raisins, nuts kind of broken up, up into uh, small pieces. So any of those things that birds can eat and you can search online to find what is safe for birds and what isn't safe for birds. Even stale bread will work in a pinch. So we're gonna take our cardboard tube and open up our peanut butter. Now this is the part of the project that will get a little bit messy. So you're gonna wanna have a space prepared for, uh, for a little bit of peanut butter smearing. So we'll take our tubes and you're just gonna use your spoon or your knife and spread peanut butter all over your cardboard tube. So once you have your entire cardboard tube covered in peanut butter, we're gonna take some bird seed. I have mine in a mug here. This is just black oiled um, sunflower seeds, but you can use any kind of bird seed that you like. And once you're completely peanut buttered, we're gonna roll our tube into the peanut butter or into the bird seed so that all of the bird seed is around the peanut butter. It'll look like that. And then you're gonna take your ribbon and tie it through your tube so that you have a way to hang it. Now, if you have older kids at home or you're an adult doing this, you can absolutely make this a little bit more advanced and get creative. You'll see this one here I had my 16 year old make and she used some sticks to make some places for the birds to perch, um, some holes at the top. So this is a great opportunity if you have an engineering type kid at home to let them design their own project. So once you have your whole project put together and it's tied, I'm gonna invite you to come out onto the porch with us here at Asbury Woods and we're gonna hang it outside for the birds. There we go, so you can come on out. And I'm gonna hang mine out here on this tree. It's nice if you choose a tree that's somewhere that you can see from the window because that way you'll be able to watch and see what kind of birds come to visit. Now here at Asbury Woods, we have lots of birds that visit us. Um, this time of year is an especially great time if you are looking to hang things out for the birds and see who can come to visit you because we have not only the birds that stay with us all year round, but we have a lot of our spring birds coming back, uh, migrating back to our area. So if you look behind me, you'll see we have tons of bird feeders here. So you'll see, if you look outside, a lot of cardinals, they're very easy to identify, chickadees, um, different kinds of birds that we have in the winter, but also some of the spring birds like the robins and the red-winged blackbirds are coming back. Now, if you are stuck at home and not really sure what you can do to connect with nature, birding is a great opportunity and you don't have to be an expert to do it. So um, there are a lot of great apps. One that I like to use here at Asbury Woods and at home is called Merlin. It's put out by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology and you can get that on an Apple device or on an Android device. But the nice thing about these is that you can choose your location, choose the date, and then it'll help you identify the birds that you're seeing by size, shape, color, wing shape, um, all of the identifying features that you might be able to see um, as you look at the birds, you'll be able to figure out what kind of birds you have outside your window, or you can come here to Asbury Woods. Our trails are open from dawn to dusk every day, even though our nature center is closed. So you're welcome to come here, walk the trails, see some of the birds that are visiting us. So stay safe, stay healthy, come visit us again for another virtual visit, and thanks for hanging out with me today.